May of this year, Republican candidate Herman Cain backed up the Constitution and Americans' right to a speedy trial by a jury of one's peers when he said this about U.S.-born Anwar al-Awlaki, who then was still alive but was on the CIA's assassination list for his alleged terrorist ties. Quote, he should be charged, and since he's an American, he should be tried in our courts. Close quote. But other than Ron Paul and Gary Johnson, how many other Republican candidates for president would tow the same line, especially in the wake of Alalaki's death at the hands of U.S. drones? Here to discuss is Jacob Hornberger, founder and president of the Future of Freedom Foundation. Future of Freedom is not good, Jacob, if the president thinks he can kill anybody he wants. Well, was this lawful or constitutional by any known accepted standard of law and the Constitution? Absolutely not. It was nothing but state-sanctioned murder. That You know, the, the government, the president has made some unsubstantiated assertions about what this man was doing. Um, he's claiming that it was legal to assassinate this guy. But, Judge, as you well know, that's what a trial is all about. A trial determines what are the facts in the case. What has this man actually done? Has he exercised freedom of speech? Has he crossed the line into an area of illegality? That's what a jury determines. And then based on that determination, the judge decides whether it's proper to punish this guy under the law. Obama and his forces circumvent that entire process and just take the guy out, saying, we don't need no stinking trial, we're just going to kill him. You know, un under, the, under the Constitution, the highest crime, the worst crime a person can commit is treason, providing aid and comfort to the enemy, in this case, arguably in wartime. But treason requires the testimony of two or more witnesses to the same overt act of treason. It's the only crime where the crime is defined and the, the proof needed to convict for the crime is defined in the Constitution. So how can a president who took an oath to uphold the Constitution thumb his nose at it and for the first time since the Civil War use the military to kill Americans outside of a judicial setting? Well, and the paramilitary, the CIA, which of course is the expert in assassination. Uh, but your, your point's well taken. The, the, the fact that the Constitution provides for uh, the crime of treason implies that a trial's going to be conducted. If you give the president the power to go out and assassinate somebody he suspects of committing treason, then what's the point of having it in the Constitution in the first place? We only have and a then few you've seconds. got the Fifth Amendment. We only have a few seconds uh, left. Herman Cain, Ron Paul, uh, Gary Johnson have condemned this. Are they out of step with the Republican base? Uh, that's, uh, time's going to tell on that one, Judge, but it'd be interesting if one of them got nominated because you might have Democrats voting for them and maybe some Republicans who are endorsing this thing voting for Obama. Sure would be fun to watch. How is it that we can let the president get away with something like this? Just a couple seconds, Jake. Do people not care when they hate the victim? Where are the protests, Judge? Where is the outrage? You only see it among a few liberals, but Got mostly it. in the libertarian Got movement. Got it.